Namaste. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend my warm greetings to uh, Dean Sir, uh, Professor uh, Bola Tapa, Bira Sir, and my dear colleagues. Today I'm uh, presenting a presentation on the safety hazards from the explosive uh, fuels. Uh, most particularly, I will, I'll be talking about the recent Beirut explosion 2020 and uh, Norway explosion, which happened uh, last year. So moving forward uh, about uh, outline of the presentation, I'll be talking uh, uh, briefly about some inflammable and explosive fuels. Uh, the most part, uh, particularly, I will be talking about the ammonium nitrate, uh, and then I will uh, talk in detail about the 2020 Beir Beirut explosion uh, and then some other uh, ammonium nitrate disasters which actually uh, uh, shook the world in the previous time period and then I will be talking about the hydrogen explosion and most particularly I will be uh, focusing on the Norway uh, hydrogen fueling, fueling station explosion last uh, uh, that occurred last year and then few uh, hydrogen explosion examples uh, accidents that occurred in the world. And then I will be concluding with the major causes of the hydrogen explosion and some recommendations as well. So uh, here are the list of a uh, few uh, inflammable and explosive fuels. So uh, based on the, the nature of sensitivity, uh, the three categories of the fuels or explosive materials are uh, done. Uh, the first one is uh, the primary uh, one, uh, which is, means that it is extremely sensitive to stimuli such as uh, impact, uh, friction, heat, static, uh, electricity, radiation, it, it is, which in, includes natural gas, uh, uh, butane, propane, gasoline, and also hydrogen. So the sec secondary one is uh, a bit uh, lesser sensitive than the primary one. Uh, it requires uh, substantially more energy to be initiated, to be triggered for the explosion. So this include uh, TNT, RDX, uh, which are extensively used in uh, ex explosive materials. So the tertiary one is, it is ex extremely insensitive that require immediate explosive uh, booster of secondary explosive, uh, which include ammonium nitrate. So what is ammonium nitrate? Ammonium nitrate uh, is a white crystalline solid used in agriculture as white as a high nitrogen fertilizer. And it's a common component of uh, the explosive, explosive material as well. So we have seen a uh, lots of uh, uh, terrorist blasting, uh, which include uh, ammonium nitrate as well. So talking about the, its nature reaction, uh, <laughs> It decomposes on heating, but at uh, tem temperature below uh, 300 degrees Celsius, its product is nitrous oxide and water. But at higher temperatures, uh, the reaction is extremely exothermic and um, it can undergo the runaway reaction, which becomes extremely and uh, terrifically explosive. So we have seen the red orange color in the uh, videos and footages of uh, Beirut explosion. Uh, the red orange color is basically due to the nitrogen dioxide. So what we can conclude, we see here is that uh, nitrogen, uh, ammonium nitrate is only triggered by a strong initiation charge. So it should not be stored near highly explosive agents and blasting agents. So moving into uh, details of the 2020 Beirut explosion Lebanon. So on the afternoon of 4th August 2020, two explosions occurred at Port of the city of Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. So uh, the explosion was because of about 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate in stored in uh, warehouse number 12, which is next to the port's used grain silos, the storage of the grains. As we can see in the picture down, the, the shattered picture of the grain silo. So um, it, it was actually preceded by a large fire at the port of Beirut inside the warehouse number 12. So at around 6 p.m., there was a, a large initial explosion followed by a series of smaller blasts uh, that sounded like fireworks going up. Actually, uh, it's because of the uh, fire in the fireworks. So about 30 seconds later, there was a colossal explosion that sent a huge mushroom cloud, as we can see in the figure itself, with the orange color uh, cloud. Uh, it sent a supersonic blast wave radiating throughout the city, which shattered 
each and everything within the city. So the crater formed, as we can see the in the picture below, uh, was formed was roughly of 124 meters in diameter. So uh, United States Geological Survey registered this explosion as, as a e seismic event of magnitude 3.3 Richter scale, which was in fact felt in uh, Turkey, Syria, Israel, and parts of Europe as well. So uh, was even heard in Cyprus, which is more than uh, uh, 250 kilometers away from uh, Lebanon. So uh, it was speculated that the buried uh, blast was equivalent to one to two kilotons of uh, TNT, the trinitrotoline, the expl explosive. So uh, as, as comparison, the Hiroshima bombing in August 1945 exploded with an energy equivalent of 12 to 15 kilotons. So uh, it has been uh, categorized as the most among the most powerful non-nuclear explosions in the history. So the main cause is uh, it's a prime example of huge safety negligence. Stories of such uh, uh, extremely sensible uh, blasting agent explosive. So it is due to the fire inside warehouse number 12, the firing of 30 to 40 nylon bags of fireworks. It's a huge safety negligence by the Port Authority actually. So that 2,750 tons of uh, ammonium nitrate was actually confiscated from a uh, Moldovan flags a cargo ship in 2013. So a big question ar arises here uh, that a huge, huge stockpile of ammonium nitrate was stored for almost seven years uh, so unsafely along with the uh, fireworks and it's an example of huge uh, safety negligence which they suffered a lot. So uh, talking about the casualties, at least uh, 220 people were confirmed dead and more than 6,000 people injured and still many are uh, injured. So damages, uh, it's intolerable and unbearable damage that we can see, we have seen uh, as well. So it has overturned cars and stripped the steel frame out of the buildings and this destroyed the section of shorelines creating a crater, as I already mentioned, it was 124 meters in diameter. So a huge uh, diameter crater was formed. So the buildings as far as 10 kilometers away and away were uh, damaged and up to three lakh people were left homeless. So apart from that, I have, as I have already uh, mentioned that the grain elevator, grain silo, uh, which uh, stored about 15,000 tons of grain, most particularly wheat uh, for the entire city was shattered. And they have left uh, the reserve for no more than one month. So here are some let's uh, uh, here are the some list of the ammonium nitrate disaster that occurred in the past. So let's have a quick look. Uh, the Great Explosion in the United Kingdom in 1916 caused a death of 115 people. It was a uh, uh, explosion of 700 tons of ammonium nitrate. So uh, similarly in, in Germany, causing in 1921, causing death of 561 people. It's a huge number of death and was due to 415 50 tons. And similarly in France, uh, uh, in 1947, which caused death of 29 people. So the most popular and the most dangerous ever speculated and ever imagined uh, ammonium nitrate disaster was the Texas City disaster uh, back in 1947. So the explosion was such huge that it created a powerful earth shock that broke windows as far as 40 miles away and even knocked down two small planes uh, flying at 1500 feet. And it's among the most popular and most dangerous uh, ammonium nitrate disasters. So moving to our, uh, moving more closer, um, uh, Rongchun disaster in North Korea in 2004 caused uh, unconfirmed death of 162 people. So the most uh, recent one is the Tianjin explosion 2015, which uh, actually raised a huge political issue in um, China itself, caused a uh, death of 173 people, uh, was due to uh, 800 tons of ammonium nitrate explosion. So here are some pictures of the Texas City disaster. 
really dangerous and really uh, disturbing pictures we have got the as i have already mentioned the, the death toll was 581 uh, people and was about not not actually confirmed but about 300 3000 tons of ammonium nitrate so the next one is the recent one 2015 the explosion in china so before the causes have you speculated the agigobache you said it was a negligence what was the causes uh, in usa Lebanon could be negligible, ne negligent, but why? Why did it, did this happen in America, in Texas? Was that just a negligence or technical faults, or do you do you have any idea? So, majorly, the, every the, most of the ammonium nitrate disasters are triggered by fireworks, firings. So the fire actually triggered most of uh, them. So I think that was also a fire-induced explosion. So ammonium nitrate explosion in case of uh, terrorism, the usually practiced uh, explosive material in ter terrorist attacks as well. So there are a few examples, uh, the Sterling or bomb bombing in 1970, the most famous Oklahoma City bombing in 1995, uh, 2011 Delhi bombings, 2011 uh, bombing in Norway, uh, and 2013 Hyderabad blast. These are major uh, examples, but they are many of the examples that where ammonium nitrate is used we can see the picture of the oklahoma city bombing in 1995 year two extremely the dangerous pictures extremely the whole building is shattered actually so which caused deaths of 168 people and injured more than 680 people so it was actually a truck bombing where ammonium nitrate was collected in a, a truck and blasted by terrorist groups. So, 2011 Norway attacks was attack was as a car bomb blast where a uh, where a ban was used for uh, uh, storing the ammonium nitrate and blasting. So, moving towards the hydrogen explosion, uh, hydrogen can readily uh, ignite in most broader broader range of fuel to air concentration than any other gases. As I've already told, it's a primary explosive nature. So 12 times less energy to ignite than gasoline vapor. So even uh, invisible spark or static uh, spark from a person can cause huge ignition, huge, can ignite the hydrogen and cause explosion. So uh, keeping air or oxygen from mixing with hydrogen using combined con confined um, uh, species is very important. So major challenges include the ease of leaking, the specific nature of the hydrogen. Uh, we see low energy ignition, wide range of combustible fire uh, air mixtures, uh, and its ability to inbrittle metals uh, leading towards cracking. So we see in the pictures, this is the most famous uh, and dangerous uh, Hindenburg disaster in 1937. So with caused death of uh, 35 people. A Zeppelin or airspace Indenburg burst into fire, fire while landing. And this actually uh, ended the era of um, airships or Zeppelin after this uh, disaster. So moving towards the Norway hydrogen explosion, uh, uh, on Monday, uh, 11th of June, 2019, uh, Uno X hydrogen station in Sandvika in Norway exploded actually. Um, two people were uh, injured and no uh, casualties were seen. So the fire department immediately uh, evacuated the area of uh, 500 meters around and the fire uh, after the explosion was contained within three hours by the firefighters. So uh, Electrolyzer manufacturing company uh, Nail Hydrogen stated that the leaked hydrogen ca caused a uh, fire in the open air, causing a shock wave or blast wave uh, throughout the city. So <clears throat> the fueling company Unix uh, uh, closed all of its uh, stations, uh, fueling stations after this particular incident for uh, the further in investigation to be concluded. So the Main cause as a, was uh, identified and reported by Nail Hydrogen 
on 27th of June because was because of leakage due to a faulty valve in the assembly of a connector in a high <clears throat> pressure um, hydrogen tank as the main cause of the uh, explosion. So what was the immediate impact on the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles after this particular uh, hydrogen filling station? For safety reasons, several uh, hydrogen stations in uh, many other country, countries as well uh, 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 were closed as a precaution to avoid similar accidents. Until and unless the main cause of the explosion was uh, <coughs> identified. So the uh, similarly, the Japanese brand Toyota and South Korean brand uh, Hyundai both halted the uh, sales of fuel cell vehicles in Norway itself. So similarly, the uh, particularly Unox and Nil Hydrogen uh, have a joint venture uh, uh, company which <coughs> has numerous filling stations in uh, Norway itself. So many of the many owners of the fuel cell vehicles were. Uh, left with no option to refuel because of this particular explosion. So there are many other ex uh, accidents of hydrogen. Explosion I have, as I have already talked about the um, uh, famous Indian work disaster in 1935. Um, so somehow the Fukushima nuclear mishap in 2011 was uh, related to the hydrogen um, explosion actually, because uh, the fuel rods became extremely hot and reacted with steam, which released Hydrogen, the hydrogen leaked from the containment to the reactor building uh, was collected and then <coughs> exploded with a uh, big bang. So uh, <coughs> some other accidents, uh, accidents and incidents of hydrogen explosion, uh, as we see from 2018 to 2020, uh, most of the explosions were um, occurred in USA and a famous explosion uh, was occurred in 2019 in South Korea. So here are the few pictures of the hydrogen explosion or hydrogen firing. So the first one is uh, <coughs> dated uh, back in 2018 February in Los Angeles on the way to a uh, fuel cell vehicle uh, a fueling station or hydrogen a truck actually carrying uh, 24 compressed cylinders of hydrogen uh, caught fire. So we can see in the picture actually. Uh, the second one is the uh, explosion at the Santa Clara, California, dated back in June 2019. So during the loading of hydrogen tank, tanker tank that was being fueled, uh, temporary, uh, the big explosion uh, <clears throat> happened and this led to temporary shutdown of multiple fueling stations. So it's a hydrogen explosion has been very sensitive and once an explosion occurs, uh, every other uh, fueling stations do take precautions. So this one, the last one is the um, blast of a hydrogen tank, explosion of the hydrogen tank, killing two people and injuring six at, uh, in South Korea in May, 2019. So this caused a serious national debate on future of hydrogen technology in case of South Korea, because South Korea has a very ambitious plan towards hydrogen technology. So this was this caused actually uh, a large national debates and protest as well. So the findings miss the causes of hydrogen explosion because uh, no uh, particular uh, companies here uh, actually wish to uh, uh, share the experiences, the causes of the hydrogen explosion because of their company image for their future uh, prospect. Uh, but the main uh, causes recorded are uh, the failure of joints or valves that leads to leakage. The leakage is the major problem here. The corrosion related problem uh, was present earlier. So the instrumentation failure is the next one. And the enrichment of tanks, metallic tanks that lead to cracking also caused several hydrogen uh, explosion in the past. So other one is the common one, fire triggering hydrogen explosion. So uh, possible re recommendation, recommendations, we see that the storage region of hydrogen should have good ventilation. So uh, as we, we, we can see that um, for the st storage of hydrogen, uh, the the storage tanks are actually constructed on the ground, not under under the ground as other petroleum fuels. Because, so um, 
this is one of the safety measures. So we see the flash arresters and strong ignition suppression system should be employed in all electrical devices. If in case of uh, uh, storing, storage, handling, or in case of the, the fuel cell vehicles, because uh, a small spark, an invisible spark actually can lead to the explosion. So the similar other for the case of storage and, and transportation, hydrogen sensor tracers and new order and technology will allow for the rapid uh, recognition of hydrogen leaks because this is one of the main cause. So these things should be employed. So uh, hydrogen flames are very hard to uh, recognize with the naked eye. So ultraviolet and infrared uh, flame detectors should be used for uh, the safety purpose. Also, um, very extensive research is going on uh, the case of the storage tank the material of the storage tank, uh, various ca carbon composite materials and graphene and some other uh, material are under test for the uh, proper storage of hydrogen. And of course, the pressure regulation is also uh, very important. So <clears throat> concluding, uh, Barrett explosion was, as I have already said, a huge safety negligence because they stored a huge amount of explosive material for no reason for almost seven years in the warehouse along with 50 to 69 in bags of fireworks which could actually trigger the explosion anytime so this was a huge and serious safety negligence and uh, this caused actually the uh, catastrophic explosion act actually so the next uh, norway hydrogen explosion was a re uh, actually a result of technical issue on connector valve so most of the hydrogen explosions are presently in the recent years are due to the technical issues uh, despite the companies uh, adopt high safety measures it, it's due to the technical uh, issues because of the uh, extraordinary nature of the hydrogen fuel and its ignition itself so the lessons learned from these incidents should be the inevitable guidelines, baselines, and bottom lines for whatever we do, for whatever dealings that we conduct in with the similar explosive, explosive uh, fuels in the future as well. Thank you.